Hello, beautiful butterflies. Welcome to Mariposa Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive and life coach. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit jenniferlove.me. This reading is the current energy and love for Leo for March 2020. This is the current energy. Energy can change based on your free will choices. That's what makes intuitive readings so powerful. Hopefully you can use the guidance to make better choices. This message will not resonate with everyone. Just keep the messages that are for you and let go of the rest. If it's not your story, please check your moon or rising sign or come back next month. If you're watching, I can connect with your energy and tell your story next time. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to me, you're most welcome here. Thanks for giving me a shot. I will be starting a Patreon channel to do some more adult readings with um, a sexual overtone, sex and sexuality. Um, I don't want to be censored on YouTube, so I'm going to move those readings over there. And if you have any questions that you'd like answered for future pick a cards, please put that in the comments. I will respond. So, Leo, let's get to your reading. What's the current overall energy and love for Leos? What is the current energy for Leos for March 2020? Man holding a heart. Nice. Very nice. So this could mean that there is um, a masculine energy coming towards you at this time. It could be that you are the masculine energy, Leo, that is, um, you know, interested in love at this time. Um, this could be someone coming forward to make you a love offer. This could be someone that um, you're already in a relationship with. So this is a great overall energy for the start of our love reading. What else do we got going on in March for Leo? What does this man holding a heart have to say to all the Leos watching? Give your relationship a chance. Attraction. Nice. What else? What else? Children. Okay. So if you're currently dealing with somebody and you're having some issues, you know, this is a signal from your angels to, you know, try to work on it. It's worth saving. Um, if you're having difficulties, you know, being attracted to this person because of something they've said or did, Try to come back into yourself, use your sensuality to be in the now, enjoy the moment, and that will attract the romantic love back to you. The third card is that your love life is being affected by children. And if you don't have children and your partner doesn't have children, then this is a signal to um, pay attention to your inner child and work on your inner child. So let's see if we can clarify what's going on for my Leos right now. What is happening with this, giving this relationship a chance? The Four of Pentacles. So you might feel like if you give up on this person, there might not be anybody else. It's kind of like a scarcity mindset that, oh gosh, it took me so long to find this person. Um, if I, if it doesn't work out, then I have to start all over, you know, the dating scene all over six of pentacles. So we've got two, um, two pentacles cards. Um, so your person might be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The six of pentacles is all about equality. So this relationship is an equal give and take, which is a really nice thing to see. Um, oof, nine of wands. Um, Again, you know, you guys might be having some problems. So this is about, um, you know, the fighting and the, you know, having issues and trials and tribulations. So um, that's never fun. Let's see what, what these issues are with your person and how we can um, 
help? How can we make it better? What are these issues that Leo is having with their person? <laughs> Strictly sexual. So it says this connection is passionate but not enduring. So that might be your issue with this person is that you're super attracted to them. Um, they're coming forward with their heart in their hand, but you're only feeling um, the physical side of it or vice versa. They're only feeling the physical side of it and you're, you know, trying to come forward and give this person your heart and they're not um, reciprocating that. So, you know, I, it's totally fine for a relationship to start off physical and then, you know, the emotions take time to develop. Um, but it's actually better, obviously, to let the emotions develop first before you get into the physical, but sometimes that's just not how it happens. So, oof, I'm having issues shuffling today. Um, so it's okay, though. Either way, you know, the, it doesn't mean the emotions aren't going to develop or can't. It's just that it hasn't happened yet. But the attraction is definitely there. Alignment. So it, you might need to, oh, spring equinox. The spring equinox is actually, I looked it up. When is it? Oh, gosh. Um, wow, I looked it up and everything. Oh, it's like March 21st, I think. March 19th. It's March 19th. So very, very soon is the spring equinox, also known as Ostara. Um, this might be the time that your relationship comes to a turning point. Strength. Strength, obviously, in the tarot is Leo's card. So here's you showing up in your own reading. Happy outcome. That's nice to see. So you know, hopefully you guys can work out your issues and come to a happy outcome. I really feel like the alignment is about um, aligning the masculine and feminine energy to, uh, you know, have this equal give and take that the Six of Pentacles is talking about. So, um, Leo, you may have been too much in your masculine and your other person also in their masculine, your partner. So when there's too much masculine energy, it feels very unbalanced. Or if you're too much in your feminine and so is the other person, then it's not personal. So huh. oh, I'm just knocking everything over. Can't shuffle. Hmm. It's, it's quite a day. So, um, I had like a really nice Reiki session earlier um, from my Leo friend and I'm a little bit uh, not grounded. <laughs> I was trying to get grounded, but you know, stuff happens. So it's not personal. What do I feel about that? I feel like your person is trying to say that, you know, they're not not developing the emotions just because it's you or just not to take things so personally. Um, just because the emotions aren't a hundred percent there, don't take it personally. It's not, it's just about timing. It's not about you as a person. It's not about them as a person. It's just about you guys finding the right, um, balance and, you know, I want to get some messages from your person about why, um, how they feel what they feel, or is this going to progress? Is this going to remain strictly sexual? I keep comparing others to you. What else? I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. So you are on your person's mind a lot. They keep comparing people to you. They see you and everybody they meet. I will make things right between us one day. So I kind of feel like you guys might've had a fight or 
your things are just not feeling equal right now. Perhaps you're coming with the emotion and they're coming with the physical and it's just really out of alignment. I just feel like there's a imbalance here. You're like working towards that balance, but you're not quite there yet. And so there's a lot of um, issues and fighting and, um, but definitely the attraction is there. The sex is passionate. It's good. It's just that, you know, you want more emotion from this person. And I'm not sure that they're there yet, to be honest. I really don't feel like, um, they definitely think about you. Um, they want to make things right, but I'm not really sure they know how or can force the emotion. You can't force emotion that's not there. It just has to develop over time. And I feel like you might be getting a little impatient with this person, Leo. Please reach out. So this give your relationship a chance. Um, if you want this person in your life, if you want this relationship to have a chance, you're going to need to reach out to this person and tell them um, how you feel, tell them what you want to happen um, so they can, you know, respond. They can either tell you, yes, I want that same thing that you want, or no, I don't, I can't force my emotions and I don't know what you want me to do, but, um, you, Leo, you know, you're the leader, you're, um, in charge, you know, you have the strength to kind of move things forward. So if you do want to be with this person, I feel like you're going to have to do the reaching out. Um, what else? Let's give you some advice. So let's see. I'm trying to decide what kind of cards I want to use for advice. I'm really feeling like angels and ancestors, to be honest. Um, I adore this deck. It is so great. Such beautiful images from Lily Moses and Kyle Gray's stamp on it. What's some advice for Leo for this situation for March? Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. So again, getting in alignment with the masculine and feminine energy, you know, the six of pentacles that, you know, you're having an equal give and take. The trader has, you know, um, he is trading goods for services or vice versa. So this is really about having an exchange of energy to create abundance, which, you know, a lot of light workers and people that provide spiritual services have a hard time um, setting a proper price on their services. They feel like, oh, well, I'm doing um, this work for the good of others so I have issues with charging them for that you know service but the trader is here to say that you know you have to exchange energy when you're out giving your energy you have to get energy in return and money is just a form of energy right so this also speaks to your relationship with your person is that you have to give and take equally. You can't be giving, 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 and the other person constantly taking. It has to be um, close to 50-50, if not, you know, some days you give more, some days they give more. But you have to be open to receiving. Also, Leo, I kind of feel like you haven't been open to receiving, and it might be because perhaps you don't feel worthy of love, you don't feel worthy of this person, you don't feel um, good enough. I know, you know, Louise Hay said, you know, everyone's biggest issue is that they don't love themselves and everyone is walking around thinking, I'm not good enough, but not good enough to who? <laughs> We're all comparing to what exactly? Um, Oracle. This is a way for important information. So the information will come to you intuitively, but this is a waiting time. This is a period of waiting. So I kind of feel like you, um, when you feel the time is right, reach out, but don't push it. You know, like it might just be an issue of 
you have to wait for this person's emotions to catch up with yours because I feel like you have the emotions there but they might not have it the same place as you just yet so let's get an angel message for you um, I want to use angel prayers So I use a lot of different decks and I just pick kind of intuitively as I go. So I list all the decks um, in the description. I'm not sure I included angel prayers to be honest, but this is the angel prayers oracle by Kyle Gray. Um, I don't, I don't know if I listed this one in the description to be honest. Um, Transformation, Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. So if you've been having, um, I feel like you've been doing some spiritual growth, Leo, and you are working on nurturing your inner child. So, you know, just because you're, if you're undergoing this transformation, your person may not have had time to catch up with you yet spiritually. So they do think about you. They do, um, you know, they're very much attracted to you. They keep comparing other people to you. But I think that your transformation has been a little bit more accelerated than theirs. So they might need time to catch up to you in that respect. So be patient, you know, wait for the information from your angels and ancestors. And, you know, you will have this happy outcome that you're wanting. Um, it might just take some time. So let's look at, I just want to pull one abundance card for you to just kind of, um, yeah, leave on a, positive note for your finances. So what, what can we tell Leo about abundance this month? Clearing debt. So your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. Emotional debts. So we're not just talking about money here. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So really taking a look at your debt and having a plan of how you're going to pay it back. So many people um, just carry debt and keep carrying it and carrying it and carrying it and it just grows and grows when you don't have a plan of how you're going to clear it and pay it all off. So you don't have to dwell on it. But just, you know, look at it, have a plan, either automate that plan or just deal with it once a month so you don't have to like constantly be thinking about your debt. But, you know, just having a plan for it will make you feel a lot lighter and less burdened. Um, and then also emotional debts. If you're feeling like you need to forgive someone or apologize to someone, that's also part of your self-care that's being encouraged at this time. So um, clearing emotional debt is going to be important for you this month for your abundance as well. So I hope that was helpful for you, Leo. I'm sorry that there is some waiting involved here, but it will be lead to a happy outcome. Thank you so much for watching. If this video resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm new here and I'd really like to grow and reach more people. Drop a comment below and let me know if anything was spot on for you. I will be going live and taking personal love and relationship questions a few times a month. So hit the notification bell if you'd like to participate in that. I really love to do readings for you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit jenniferlove.me. All of my services are there as well as pricing and my calendar. You can book an appointment online. So, Leo. Thank you so much for watching and have a great month and I'll see you next time. Bye.